Today we're going to be installing some gas hood struts onto the Tacoma. Welcome to Snail Trail 4x4, I'm Jimmy Jet. If you like building Toyotas and going off-roading, then this is the channel for you. Hit that subscribe button down below. If you've ever tried to lift the hood of your Tacoma, you know it's probably one of the heaviest hoods you've ever lifted. And Toyota decided to put that kickstand in there for I don't know why. When you can just easily install one of these hood struts, or two of them actually, and it makes life a whole lot easier. So we're gonna be doing that today, and the first thing we need to do is pop the hood and get measuring. All right, so the next thing we do is we are gonna measure from the hood, hood hinge right here. We are going to butt the tape measure up against that, and then we measure up 16 inches, and that's where we're gonna put our tape. And I'm also gonna make the mark right there. So here's the two brackets that are provided in the kit. Um, the one that has the holes on the opposite side of the ball is the one that you're not going to use. The one that you want to use is this guy here, the one that has the holes in the ball going over the top. So what we're going to do is you want to make sure that you have the ball on the, that's facing the inside. We are putting that up against the hood with the bottom of it right on that 16 inch line. And then we do a measurement from the outside of the bracket to the edge of your hood, it should be one and three quarter inches. And then we mark the bottom hole. Using a punch to mark the position of where I'm going to drill the hole, using a 3 16 drill bit, we are gonna drill a hole for the bottom position of the bracket. So here's the bracket with the pop rivet we just pushed in there. Um, with the 3 16 hole. It was a pain in the butt to get in there, but we uh, were able to make it work. Uh, make sure the ball is facing on the inside of the vehicle. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add the pop rivet gun on here, pop this off, get it into place, and then make sure that this is aligned and then do the same thing for the upper hole and get that bracket mounted up. Make sure your 3 16 bit is in there. We're just gonna slide that up all the way press that in and then you just squeeze this till it pops off ah, there we go nice and plush okay now that's staying in place we'll just double check this gap here that's going to be uh, one and three quarters and then make sure that it's going to be in the right spot we'll give that a hole punch drill a new hole and then put the pop rivet in all right, brackets in place. First brackets pop riveted, both of them up in there. Now we got to repeat that process on the other side and that will get the two brackets for the hood done. So from this bolt, which is pretty much in the middle of the fender there, right next to this bushing, you're going to go from the middle of that bolt, you're going to measure up eight and a quarter inches um, which will be somewhere around here. We'll measure that. We put the blue tape down so that we can do a simple mark on there. And then we're going to drill down into the inner fender for the bracket. Let me show you how. So measuring up from that bolt, at the center of that bolt, we're going up eight and one quarter inches. Should be right about there. So now taking the bracket with the ball facing inward, we're going to place it down onto this fender here and we're going to line it up with that hole or that line just as you can see. So the ball is lined up with that line and now we're going to do a hole or we're going to just center punch this and then we're going to drill those holes. Five thirty second. We're gonna pop a hole straight down. Just make sure you're going straight. Here we go. And now we're gonna pop one of the self-tapping screws that they provide um, with. It happens to be an eight millimeter head, and we're gonna put that in with the bracket. Placing the bracket down and putting the screw in place. It's really tight against the fender here. But as soon as that screw gets past the fender, it all lines up. Now we're going to pop the hole or pop uh, center punch the hole for the next one.
and we're going to drill that one straight down. Make sure that you don't bottom out when you push too hard. There we go. All right, using the other provided tech screw, self-tapping screw, we're going to screw that down into place. There we go. Let go, please. There it is. And then we can remove the tape. Now we need to do the same thing to the other side and we are gonna be ready to put on the struts. So the next thing is we cycle these struts. What you do is you gotta put it against something soft, so I'm gonna use these mats, and then you push down onto them. They are heavy, they are hard, so you just gotta push all the way down and you wanna cycle it up. Let it do that two or three times. <sighs> They've got quite the force to them, but that hood is heavy, so we need to do these to both of them. All right, so I've got a friend holding up the hood. We already put the opposite side on uh, just for help. And then to install these, what you do is you just sort of push them over the end. I got the bracket here, uh, the gas struts on the top side, and you just push it over the bar and snap it on over. And then the same with the bottom. We got to go up a little bit more, and then you just go over the bar and snap it on in. It's just that easy, and then it holds it all up by itself. Totally goes all the way down. We even pressed it shut and now it goes all the way up. And you don't even have to push it. It's such a heavy hood and I'm so glad that we can just leave this kickstand down out of the way. And those gas struts will lift it and push it up for us and hold it up there. It is so nice to have these gas struts. You guys should do this as well. I'll put a link down in the description below for these Redline gas struts. Also, thanks for watching and don't forget, keep crawling.